And we are underway in Buffalo. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Mahomes not wasting time. He'll throw. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And it's intercepted on the first play of the game. Picked off by Micah Hyde. Well, they certainly took a shot to open this game. I know it backfired with the interception, but no lack of bravado from that sideline at all. And look, they told us before the ball game, they wanted to be a little more dangerous on offense. They wanted to take a few more chances. That opening pass certainly set a tone. Maybe a turnover, but I don't think it'll stop them from trying again the rest of this game. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Here's second and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Has his man, it's Shakir. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Flushed out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They do go for it. Here's Allen into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Partner, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. To throw, it's Mahomes. Open man downfield is Hardman. He's got it. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Miko Hardman, 45 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely. And the ball's delivered that accurately. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. He's got it at the two. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. Felt pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. And the Bills are going to recover. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried. They just didn't get it done. Second and seven. In motion left is Davis. Here's Cook again. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now Allen. They'll roll him out right. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
On first down, Allen. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 12 more yards there and another first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. He's got exactly what you're looking for, the ability to not just diagnose a play and quickly, but to make a play as well. Nice job there tackling him for a loss. Now Allen throwing on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. George Karloftis. What a sensational effort. That's going to be a loss of 20. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Bass is good. And they get on the board, trailing now 8-3. to three. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Shifts by him. There he goes, right side. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, 66 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Andy Reid never one to shy away from taking chances. He'll go for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Flush to his right. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Back to throw. Allen flushed out right. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. Throwing on first down is Allen. Gets this one to Morris. 
And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. Back to throw again. The left side caught by Diggs. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. In motion right, that's Hardman. He's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he'll be out right at the 35. Well, they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Nicole Hardman, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. They'll try and throw for it. Being chased out left. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone, and it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Down the right sideline. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Come on now. Let's do this. Let's go. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. Now Patrick going to change the play. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. It's complete. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Now, they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Trent McDuffie with a pick. Oh, they try a lateral on the return, and now the ball's loose. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Forced out to his left. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, I cannot imagine a more perfect half of football for one side CD and a more disastrous half of football. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. That's caught inside the 10. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to... And now here is another interception. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And his pass is caught. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Here's Allen. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath, but those guys on the defensive side of the ball, they've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. Another interception. Picked up by Nick. Bo oh, they try a lateral on the return, and now the ball's loose. And I think they are going to get this one back. Well, that would have been something. Double turnovers. But instead, they'll keep the possession on the INT. And, partner, I know hindsight's always 20-20, but, man, just in general, those laterals, they can be so risky, and we see the risk that can be involved right there. And you just have to know, and, and we've seen it because we and the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Now whistles in a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? And it's going to be caught. Not sure why they went for two, but they do get it. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. 
And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. And the Bills are going to recover. A gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They are already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. 53 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Again, it's Cook. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. That's George Karloftis greeting him behind the line with a big stop. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Allen. And now here is another interception. And the Chiefs are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. With that interception, he just set a record that nobody ever wants to set, and that's the most picks ever in an NFL game. Eight. The eight. The eight. The eight. The last time we saw seven, 2001, right? Yeah. It's Ty Detmer. Detmer. He's with the Lions at that time. To get to eight, are we sure he knows what color jerseys his team's wearing in this one? He's, I don't know. It has not been good. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. And they'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover at the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. Here's third and ten. Mahomes now to throw. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. Nicole Hardman. 42 yards. And the Chiefs have got it on cruise control. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught inside the five. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outline. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. To throw, it's Allen. That is caught. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Again, they'll throw with Allen. 
Escaping the pressure right. Now he fires deep for Shakir. And that is caught. Touchdown, oh, Buffalo. Khalil Shakir, 53 yards. And the Bills are able to at least get one score back. Extra point by Bass, up and good. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and ten. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. 94 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Again, it's Pacheco. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and a couple. They go play fake. Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. But Charles, are still airing it out at this point despite that huge lead. And some people may be saying, well, why are they throwing the football? These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah, there are a lot of big grins, I think, from people in their families, from themselves. You're exactly right. Pad the stats when you get in. There he goes, right side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. That one caught by Rice. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because... That gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. Well, there's some excitement, right? Go for two, and instead it gets picked off. And how about the return? Give them a lot of credit, though, for not giving up after the play. Yeah, the troops rally. Exactly, and getting back there and making the tackle and not giving up two points themselves. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the... And my goodness, another interception. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. 
And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense and certainly a signal caller, Charles. It's thrown all these interceptions. Another one there, and this one taken all the way back for the score. Partner hoping to hold a nice little spot in the postgame highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made. They've been on it from snap one. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now he fires deep for Shakir. And now here is another interception. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display. And now they look to polish it off. On first down, Mahomes. That's caught left side by Hardman. There he goes left side. McCall Hardman inside the 10. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And it's caught inside the five. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. And the Bills are going to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. Throwing now is Allen. gonna go down they get to him back at the 40 and quickly we're gonna get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively and the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack it's second and 20 to the air Allen going deep for Diggs and that gonna be incomplete Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now Allen. And my goodness, another interception. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And the Chiefs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And, gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try. And, and now off to the races down the right side. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. 
Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's It's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Well, partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bills are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Well, they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. Now, and my goodness, another interception. Trent McDuffie with a pick. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one certainly was and I think both sides compete against each other all the time you go to each other in practice obviously your training camps your off season but on game day you both want to show your best and I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense a complete team victory So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.